welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, of course, but it is not just any Friday. It's well, it's Friday the 13th, but it is also the Friday before Valentine's Day. Yay! You might be wondering, Lindsay, why are you so excited about Valentine's Day? It's such an exclusive holiday to couples and those in love. Well, now what's that? I'm taking Valentine's Day back. Today I'm going to be giving you three easy tips, steps, ideas to enjoy your Valentine's Day. Because Valentine's Day is about love, no matter who that person is. Before we get into this video, I just want to say, we did it! We hit 25,000 subscribers! My mind is blown. I can't even fathom it. It's so unreal. You guys are insane. So stick around to the end of the video to see what big giveaway I'm going to be doing. I'm really excited about it. It's my first giveaway ever and ah! One last thing before we get started on my tips and fun ideas. I have a challenge for you. Last time we said let's get this video to 500 likes and you got it to like 560 something which is in freaking saying. So for this video, I propose we get it to 600 likes, which I know we can do. Let's knock it out of the park. It'd make me feel better and more confident in myself. Please. And without further ado, let's get into my tips on how to have an easy and relaxing Valentine's Day. Tip number one, you guys. Realize that Valentine's Day is literally just a day. One out of 365. And for that matter, it's not all about the man, so take the pressure off. Honestly, the world puts too much freaking pressure on this day that just is an excuse to sell a bunch of pink crap, which I am guilty of doing. But do it for the video, am I right? But seriously, you guys, this holiday is really about love. At its core, it's about love. So whether that's for a boyfriend or a girlfriend or your best friends, make sure you show the ones that you truly appreciate how much you love them this holiday. This is the perfect segue into my tip number two. Get your friends together and make cute cocktails and give little cards, simple things to just show each other that you love each other. This holiday is all about appreciating the important people, aka your besties, your BFFs, your gal pal, your squad, you know it. Just really appreciate those people who have supported you throughout the years. It doesn't have to be big or expensive. A sweet little note that has an inside joke that means something to the both of you is so important and special. So really quick, I'm gonna get into the DIY portion of this video. First, I'm going to show you how to make these amazing, personalized, adorable cards. Take a picture of someone that maybe is on a show you watch. I chose Leslie Note from Parks and Rec because that is my roommate's favorite, one of my favorite shows. She loves her. I took a direct quote from it about how she is a poetic land mermaid. And it was something that was so personal. And then I just wrote, Happy Galentine's Day, XO. Lindsay Ray. And it was so simple. It literally cost zero money. I bought my cards at Target. They were like $4 for a pack of like 10. But you could even just take your own paper and DIY that stuff. Little note cards are the perfect way to show a friend that you care. My second fun DIY is this adorable drink. It is a strawberry mimosa. Everyone knows what a mimosa is. It's champagne and orange juice. But to make it more Valentine's Day fun, I took a strawberry juice mixed with champagne. I added a few dollops of strawberries that were also frozen, so they serve as ice cubes to keep your drink warm. And what's really great about them is they were like shaped like little hearts. It was so cute and appropriate. This twist on the classic mimosa is something that will make all your gal pals feel like queens that day. Maybe have them over for a brunch. Cute to top it off, I put them in these adorable mason jars they also got at Target. And they have these really cute tops with a little hole for the straw, but they look like little lilies. They have little flowery designs. And last but not least, to truly top off this drink, I added a paper straw. Because I love paper straws. They're so hipster and damn adorable. I can't. I'm sorry. If you are under 21, you can just add some sparkling water or even sparkling apple juice instead of the champagne. And basically, it will give the same bubbly effect. My final tip, tip number three, is to take care of me. So at the end of the day, after I'm done giving and showing the love for the people in my life who I appreciate, I also remember to show love and appreciate myself. So I will take the night to totally have me time, whether that is sitting down, ordering a pizza, taking a hot bath, lighting candles, putting on all that classic, girly, basic stuff that I freaking love. Maybe I'll get in a bathroom. Maybe I'll use a bath bomb. Maybe I'll pour myself a glass of wine and have some air pop popcorn, because that is my favorite combination because I am Olivia Pope Scandal. I love that show, yes. 
at the end of the day, you gotta love you and you gotta make you the happiest you, you can be so you can be the best you can be, so you can put out all the best energy in the universe that you can and all the people who are good and who are meant to be in your life will come to you. That got real meta real quick. I don't even know if meta is the right word. Okay guys, now here is the details for the giveaway. So I recently went to an event for Physicians Formula where they gave me this. There's so much freaking makeup in here. I want to be able to give back to you guys. All you have to do, classic contest rules, is be subscribed to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. And after you subscribed and followed on all three of those platforms, please leave me a comment below in this video telling me that you did so and letting me know the thing that you love most about yourself. It could be something physical, it could be a personality trait, it could be anything. More specific details for how long the contest is going and all that jazz will be in the description bar below. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you again for getting me to 25,000 subscribers. I swear to you I got 10,000 or I just hit 10,000 about three months ago so this is pretty crazy. If you liked what you saw, make sure you check out my other videos. I will link them in the little boxes below and in my description bar. And if you like them, maybe you will check them out and subscribe because I need more friends. It's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Please. Give this video a big thumbs up if you truly believe that Valentine's Day is about love and you don't have to be bitter about it. Valentine's Day, whether you're in a relationship or not, is still an amazing opportunity to show people that you appreciate them. Hashtag, don't be bitter. Hashtag, be your own wife. And before you leave, please make sure to leave me a comment below letting me know your plans for Valentine's Day, whether it is with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or with your gal pals or with yourself. Any suggestions to my Valentine's Day brunch is welcomed in the comments below. Again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video on Sunday. How have you been liking the schedule? Fridays and Sundays. Fridays kind of big videos. Sundays kind of challenging, ranty, uh, funny, vloggy videos. And on that note, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you on Sunday in the next video. Bye!